everyone, it's me, Aqua, and today I thought I'd do a little video about Otakon. I didn't get any footage well there, but I did go for one day on Saturday, so I thought you might like to know a little bit about it. I cosplayed Madoka. Picture right here. This is a reminder to myself to put the picture here. And I have always kind of wanted to make an Ida bag. So the night before, I was up really, really late, and I did. I have this Ida bag from Blush Sprout. I will link it down below. And I put all of my different little Madoka pins. Of course I have more, but I liked these sets. I thought they looked good together. If you haven't made an Eda bag before, um, I think they're really intended for the pins that you can just like poke in. Um, but a lot of my pins are like the brooch style. So what I did for that was I just took some duct tape and I duct taped the pin to the backing. And then there's not like a million holes in the back. And I use like this iridescent backing. Um, and that isn't fabric, so you can't rub it and like have it go over it. So, the, any holes that I put in there are pretty permanent. Um, so that was nice for a couple different reasons. So I didn't have as many holes in the backing and so that I could actually stick them in there without fighting. <laughs> but I think they're super cute. Okay, so, of course my favorite thing to do at a convention is to go to the artist alley. Uh, my favorite thing to do is go to Artist Alley. So I'm going to show you some of the things I got at Artist Alley. I got a couple things from the dealer's hall too. So I'm going to tell you what it is, where I got it, and if I have the information of the artist, which I do have for almost everything, I'm going to show you that as well. I'm going to show you their information. The first thing I'm going to show you is something I got from the dealer's hall. Now I don't have the information from the artist, but um, I am going to show you. I got Sunset Sarsaparilla. Um, these are from Fallout, and I got it for my partner because he likes Fallout a lot. So, very cute. I'm going to show some Artist Alley stuff because I have one thing that I'm really, really excited about from the Dealer's Hall that we would open together. Um, so, I'll do this stuff next to me. I just got some really cutesy stickers that I'm super, super excited about. There's this one, a big rainbow cat, um, and I thought I would put this in my journal uh, to kind of motivate me. She's so cute. And the artist actually threw in this freebie. So if you like these stickers, I got it from Kawaii Lollipop Art. I will put all the links of the artist down below, like I said, because I want you to be able to have the fun stuff too. Um, some more stickers. I believe this was a freebie with these. So I got <laughs> these two, which are the Angry Sailor Senshi. And it was a like buy three and it's a little cheaper deal. And I also got this cute little My Neighbor Totoro sticker sheet. And what I love about them, they're all just so cute and goofy. Uh, and these come from Julia Hut Shop. Again, link down below if you like them. The other sticker, okay, so I'll do this sticker sheet next. I got these adorable grass type sticker. Um, if you know who drew these, please let me know. I actually forgot to grab a card or, or something, which sucks. I usually get cards of everyone I buy from, but I didn't get a card for this one, but they're super cute. They're a bunch of grass type Pokemon. And one more sticker. I guess there's two more stickers, but that one comes with a print. So I got this adorable little Madoka Magica print. It's so cute and little. And I also got this really cute sunfish that says floating by. I was trying to be like frugal. I did not wind up being frugal, but I got a lot of like teeny little stuff instead of a lot of big stuff. Um, and that was all by Celine Edot. And I will, again, link down below. The card is so cute. Okay. So this is the one big print I got. The artist was actually selling her old prints for, like, a dollar, which is kind of crazy to me. But, I mean, I think it's really lovely. The coloring, the lights... 
Um, if you don't know this, what this is from, this is based on uh, Taz or The Adventure Zone. Um, and I don't usually listen to... I, I've listened to, like, D&D podcasts like Critical Role, but The Adventure Zone is probably my favorite. And it is gorgeous. And I also got this <laughs> MILF Man I Love Frogs but, uh, Man I Love Frogs sticker. It's really, really cute. And that's all by Meddlesome Art. Okay. There was this amazing um, artist that did like a bunch of handmade plushies and like, I mean machine sewn, but she had cut them and designed them and all that. Um, adorable. And I didn't wind up getting any of the plushies because at that point I was like, these are a little more out of my price mix price range, but I'm so glad that I got the card. Nightingale Needles is their business. It's um, two people, and they did just such a wonderful job. And I got just this little button. It says, not gay isn't happy, queer isn't F you. It says the full word, but I'm going to cover it up for YouTube, <laughs> which I like that. Oh, I got this adorable stars washi tape with sea and stars, so it's like galaxy, but there's little fish on it, which is just so cute. And that was by Hiroji Draws. Now we're getting into some of the bigger stuff. I never wear earrings, because I don't have my ears pierced. They aren't pierced. But I walked into the artist alley, and one like, when you go down the escalators and just walk all the way out, I'd like to start there and just like go back, um, but she made uh, Color Spray Creations, is the artist, and this artist had some beautiful uh, handmade dice and earrings, and I just had to get them, and lucky for me, she had them on clip-ons, so I got some clip-ons. I haven't tried them on yet, but I'm excited to. They're so pretty and I'm planning on using them for a cosplay and also just wearing them in general because like I said they're so cute. Look how gorgeous that is. And it came in this cute little bag. This one was definitely an impulse buy but I don't regret it for a second. Um, it was by Meow Charity. There's the, there's the card, and it's a handmade little, like, dish. It's a little jewelry dish, and I saw that, and I was like, oh my god, I love Totoro, and as you can see, I love Totoro, and um, I've always seen him like, oh, there's just a plushie, oh, it's just a charm, oh, there's him with the leaf on the head as an umbrella, but... I had never seen it, uh, Totoro and the corn, and the corn is such a big part of the story that it was just so special to me. I was like, oh my gosh. And I stood there like, it's so cute, but what am I going to use it for? And if you don't already know, I love to knit and sew and crochet, and I was like, oh my god, I'll use it to hold my stitch markers. <laughs> well, uh, if I need them, and I'll just put them in the little dish and be able to grab them any time. And then at that point I was like, okay, I've sold myself. It's so cute. I've made a decision and I bought it. And it's really, really cute. Um, it's handmade out of polymer clay. So if you like it too, I think she has some on her store. You just need to um, wait until she comes back online after going to the conventions, I think. Oh, here's the only other thing that I don't have an art card for. Um, I made that mistake twice. It was in one of the pro booths at Otacon. And it's Gallo and Leo. They're very cute. They're enamel pins. I decided I don't have enough enamel pins for anime characters, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get them. So, another thing that I was really excited about, 
I almost never wear scrunchies, but I've been wearing them more and more often lately. And I saw this wonderful fiber artist. It's she um, sews as well. Uh, well, I guess it was a couple people, so they sew silly little things. Um, and there were these awesome scrunchies. So this one is just like regular colors, right? And then this one is um, Sailor Moon. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to stretch it out so you can see all the different characters on it. And then this one <laughs> is Pokemon, and it was my favorite color. This mint aqua color, Pokemon and berries, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to. And they're so cute and big. So who knows, maybe one day I'll switch out my hat for one of these, one of these times. They're so cute. I'm gonna show you this one first. So, I crochet and knit, and I saw this artist who has such cute things, and we were talking for ages about pricing, and I was just so impressed with her work. And I just kept coming back to this little guy, his little mushroom. And he's got the beads on his forehead. So the last thing I bought at Otakon was this little mushroom um, by Mariah Sorrell. I will post the information down below. He's just so cute and he's light purple. And I'm gonna geek out for a second. Uh, the stitches are so tiny. Usually when I crochet, I use a much thicker yarn, but she uses a really thin yarn and really thin um, hook and it turns out so delicate and I just I kept coming back to this guy I was like you know what I'm gonna get him so I did the last thing that I have for you is a Kirby remint and I of course got this because it's Kirby and I just it was cute I was between three remands and I was like, you know what, I want to get a blind box. So, I thought I'd open it here with you all. Yes! Alright, let's see who we get. <gasps> it's Meta Knight! Oh, I was like, I would be happy with any of them because there's Kirby, Waddle Dee, Meta Knight, and the some of the villains, including King DVD, and I was literally going to be happy with anyone, but oh my god, it's Meta Knight! Oh, Meta Knight is honestly the best one to have in the steampunk style. So there he is. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm going to set up the rest of them and then show you. He comes with so much. I think that's supposed to be like a little stage. Oh, that's so cute. It's like a little display box. So what's nice about this is he looks normal all by himself, and then you can add on his hat. Let's see if I do this right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, and he can hold a rose. Oh my gosh, there we go. There's Meta Knight. Here's his little book. And here's the ship. Oh my gosh. That is too cute. And I'll show you all together. Wow, that was a lot of fun. It's been so long since I've opened a blind box, and that was really exciting. Maybe I'll have to do like a little video where I open all the blind boxes I have sitting around. But that's all I have for you today. I had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed it too. Um, I'm glad I finally got to open my blind box, and yeah. Um, like I said, all of the links will be down below where I got the things, except for the remit and the other things that I mentioned. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day, and this is Aqua signing out. Bye! Get a quick little close-up. 
Sorry, things are falling. <sighs> what next? 